Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to mod the Nintendo Wii. Also known as homebrewing it. Which is a channel where you can get like different apps and games for the Wii. It's, at, it's like very popular to do. If I could just get my Wii remote to work. Which I can't. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Sorry about that. So if I go into the homebrew channel, I have it already installed. I have a ton of apps here. It's super cool. You can do, besides that, you can do so much more stuff with the Wii, but right now we're just going to focus on that. So for usual methods of doing that, you need a memory card, like an SD card, to like transfer files over from a computer to the Wii. But in this method, you don't need it. It's so easy. Sometimes the Wii might freeze up, but that's actually never happened to me when I've been trying it. So here we go. So what you're going to do, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how. So what you're going to do is go into the Wii options, go into the settings, make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi. It's actually like incredibly easy to connect to the Wi-Fi. So what are you going to do? Wait, not that. My remote's been acting like super weird. Sometimes it's just not going. So you're gonna go into internet, go into connection settings, go into whatever connection you're using, go scroll over a few pages until it you see auto obtain DNS. It has to be DNS. It cannot be IP address. No. It has to be DNS. And you're gonna press see this is already on yes. I just switched it because I've already done this before. What you're going to want to do is press no. Then go to advanced settings. You're going to click on the primary DNS. Delete everything. And you're going to want to type in. Um, 18. Dot dot one three five dot nine you're gonna want to do the same thing for the secondary dns so you might think this is completely useless because the wii's are super old that's not true tons of people do this like tons I'm not the only one. 18.188.135.9. Press confirm. Press save. And now you're going to want to do a connection test. We'll say that. Do okay. This might take a while. Like, it could take pretty long. You don't underestimate how old the Wii is. Oh, wait, here we go. So, if it's successful, you do not want to perform a system update. Not at all. Oh, also, before you do this, you want to make sure your version is 4.3U. So, you go back, Wii settings. Up here, it wants it, you need to be 4.3. If you read from a different country, it could be any other letter, but the important thing is 4.3. So you're gonna want to do now: go back into internet, go into instead of co instead of connection settings, your console information. You're gonna want to go to user agreements. This screen will pop up, and you want to select yes. This is how it will work.
I hope it works. You don't want to press next. It's going to connect to the internet. And this is right. And this is correct. That this means it wor it's working. If it if any other screen pops up, just X out of it. Just like power off your Wii and try again. So as it says, it'll take one to two minutes. And also, if your Wii remote stops responding, please power off. And try again. Do not press I accept. Or I do not accept. See when people actually use the Wii for like actual like games. Um, people would play online using this, and like that's the like we, like user manual basically. So you're gonna want to wait for this for a little bit. Again, as it says, it will take one to two minutes, or it might take longer. But wait. Okay. Just wait. So we're back. It's going to do this. I, I it might look, it might look a little suspicious. It might look a little sus, but it's not. It might do this, and this is completely normal and good. Okay. If you get here, that's a big, big plus, cause it just says that like. This is the installer for the um for like everything you want to do with modding. So it says if you pay for this or received it as part of the bundle that you paid for, you've been scammed and should demand your money back. Cause this is completely free and safe. We isn't gonna get hacked. There's programs you can install that make sure we not like freeze up. So you're gonna press one when it says press one to continue on the Wii remote, and this is gonna pop up, which is good. If I look a little old, that's because it is. You're gonna press continue, press A. You're gonna press install the home channel and uh, go through that process. I'm gonna do that. I already installed it, but I just wanna see what happens if I install it while I already installed it. So it's going to take you through this. It's going to press success. Then after that, you're going to want to press exit. And it'll exit right into the channel, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And there you go. You've done it. So how to add games? You actually do need an SD card for that. But there is an actual um like program you could get that's like, it's called the Home Browser. It's like an app store. Like, it's really good. There's like, people still work on this. It's still getting updated. It's not old. And, uh, you could also, since the Wii Online stuff has been discontinued, you can get some apps to, uh, like, make, to, like, get online stuff from a different, from a different, like, thing that's, like, not Nintendo. It's this whole thing. There are some other videos. I'll probably make some videos on it. Like, you can also get some apps that allow you to run um, Wii and GameCube games from the from a USB drive. It's super cool. You can also control your computer from it. It's so cool. And there's also an Apple II emulator. And tons of other stuff. I don't. I don't have a lot of apps. I don't really use this that much. I just want to let people know how to do this. It's so cool. You definitely should try it if you have a Wii. Okay. So after that, you're gonna want to press Home and exit the system menu when you want to go back. There's tons of other stuff you could do this. With you, you could do with this. But I'm not going to get into that right now. But I'll do that some other time. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.